Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-nursing orientation for College of the Main Unit. The first page that you see here on the screen for the pre-nursing orientation is at com.edu forward slash nursing. So you can get to this page by going to com.edu forward slash nursing. So on the nursing department page, there are several tabs on the left hand side that you can see including the pre-nursing orientation tab, AD and pre-licensure tab, track tab, LV into RN transition track, the VN program, um, also student resources, student nursing organizations, nursing faculty, nursing staff, and frequently asked questions. So just a little bit um, about College of the Mainland. Here you can actually see that we um, had a virtual pinning for spring 2020. Um, so you may be able to view on this page uh, recent events that have happened or different things. Um, College of the Mainland um, ADN program was started in 1972 and then the Vocational Nursing Program in 2005. So the ADN program prepares graduates to be registered nurses. In the ADN program, we have two different tracks. We have a full-time pre-licensure track. This is for students who do not already have a, a, a license, who are not a licensed vocational nurse. We also have the LVN to RN transition track, and that's for students who are licensed vocational nurses already. So they are going to, they're already licensed vocational nurses and they're going to transition into that RN track. So if you don't have an LVN license already, then you most likely need to apply for the full-time pre-licensure track if you are interested in going into the ADN program to become an RN. Then we have the VN program that prepares graduates to become a licensed vocational nurse. And there are different requirements and different tracks between the, um, the ADN program, between the pre-licensure track and LVN to RN transition track, and um, for the VN program. So be sure that you're looking on the specified fact sheet you can find that by going to the, the uh, correct, appropriate tab on the left-hand side of this page for the program you're interested in. And you'll be able to find all of the requirements there. Our graduates are employed at several different hospitals across uh, Texas and even the nation. Um, some of those hospitals include Texas Children's Hospital, um, HCA Clear Lake Hospital, the University of Texas Medical Branch, and Memorial Hermann. Advantages of coming to College of the Mainland, um, we help prepare our students through interactive labs, faculty mentors for each student, group and individual tutoring at no cost, and clinical rotations at state-of-the-art facilities. Now we're going to go to um, the ADN pre-licensure track. We are going to try to tailor this to, um, to one track today but there will be information about all of the programs as we talk about that track as they are specific um, to the other track or program. Next, we are going to go to the ADN pre-licensure track tab. So this is the page for the ADN pre-licensure track. Um, so again, this track, the pre-licensure track, is for an applicant without the current LVN license. If the student has an LVN license already, then they will go to the LVN RN transition track page. And if the student is interested in the VN program, then they will go to the VN program page. We have a notice to students regarding licensing. Effective September 1st, 2017, House Bill 1508 amends the Texas Occupation Code, Section 53, that requires education providers to notify potential or enrolled students that a criminal history may make them ineligible for an occupational license upon program completion. And the following website provides links to information about the licensing process and requirements. So what does this mean? This means that um, in order to take um, the NCLEX at the end of your program, then um, you do have to meet background eligibility requirements. 
and the RN program is an occupational license program, so you will have to take a test, uh, the NCLEX, to become a nurse. So if you have something on your history that might make you ineligible, then you need to make sure um, that that is going to be, um, that you're going to be you're eligible based on whatever you may have on your background check. Uh, we do have a background check through PreCheck. Um, after you are accepted into the program and also through the Texas Board of Nursing. Um, so if, if you have, if, and if you have those that are clear upon entering the nursing program and then something shows up um, on your criminal history background check um, while you're in the program, something new, then you need to talk to the Board of Nursing and make sure that you, are, you would still be eligible to take the NCLEX if you had previous approval to take the test based on your, your previous background check. We have a, a getting started tab. We have here the ADN pre-licensure full-time track fact sheet, which we are going to go over. Then we also have nursing application process guidelines. You can click on this link for step-by-step -step instructions um, on how to actually go into WebAdvisor and apply for the nursing program. We also have Advising Central, the pre-nursing orientation information. So these you can click anytime if you want to look um, more closely at them. We have Essential Core Performance Requirements, Board of Nursing Eligibility Questions, Paying for School, Success Tips, and Program Costs. Here are our core performance requirements. Um, included in the core performance requirements are cognitive, interpersonal, physical, and sensory. In cognitive, we have critical thinking. The student must be able to utilize critical thinking skills as the basis for decision making in nursing practice, which includes determining physical and mental health status to develop, implement, and evaluate a therapeutic plan of care, identify health alterations, and report outcomes. Interpersonal skills include um, student having sufficient per interpersonal skills to interact with a diverse population of individuals, families, and groups, and also communication sufficient for verbal and written professional interactions. And the interpersonal requirements include establishment of rapport with patients and colleagues, ability to engage in successful conflict resolution, peer accountability, communicate with patients, their families, and members of the interdisciplinary team to coordinate safe patient care, explaining treatment procedures, initiating teaching, documenting and interpreting nursing actions and patient responses. Uh, the physical requirement is sufficient for lifting and carrying at least 20 pounds, sufficient for movement from room to room in small spaces, and also gross and fine motor skills, including sufficient for providing safe, effective nursing care. Our physical ability examples are ability to move about in a patient's room, workspaces, and treatment areas, ability to bend, reach above and below the waist, and lift necessary equipment, extended walking and standing, administering rescue procedures, including cardiopulmonary resuscitation, calibrating and using equipment, and positioning of patients therapeutically. The sensory requirements include auditory ability, sufficient for monitoring and assessing health needs, visual ability, observing patient conditions and responses to treatments, and tactile ability, sufficient for physical assessment. Examples of sensory requirements are hearing monitoring device alarm and other emergency signals, discerning auscultated or professed sounds and cries for help, observing patient conditions and responses to treatments, ability to visualize calibrations on equipment and syringes, and ability to participate in physical examinations and various therapeutic interventions. By accepting admission and enrolling in the ADN program, students certify that they have read and understand those core performance requirements of the program. Com does not discriminate based on the basis of disability, and students who would like to receive um, reasonable academic accommodations on the basis of disability to meet the core requirements first must self-identify, provide documentation of the, the uh, disability, and request an accommodation. And who will you um, self-identify to and provide the documentation and request the accommodation? That will be Holly Bankston. She's one of our advisors, and she is in the office for students with disabilities, and her number is 409-933-8520. We're going to go back now to that um, ADN page, 
and we're going to look at Board of Nursing eligibility questions. So here we have the Board of Nursing eligibility questions. Um, the Board of Nursing is the state agency assigned to write the rules needed to implement laws related to nursing education, licensure, and practice. One such rule has to do with eligibility for initial licensure by examination. If you need to answer yes to any of the eligibility questions, you will need to submit a petition for declaratory order to the Board of Nursing with additional information and documentation so a final ruling can be made about your eligibility for licensure. In some circumstances, you may not be able to be a licensed registered nurse in Texas. Before you submit a declaratory order to the Board of Nursing, please contact the nursing department to see if um, with the most up-to-date process because sometimes it may be uh, modified by the Board of Nursing. Um, the Board of Nursing may want us to send your name in for you. So please, if you do need to petition for a declaratory order, first contact the nursing department and ensure that you are following the most up-to-date um, process for that. The eligibility questions that you must answer um, for any criminal offenses, including those pending appeal, have you been convicted of a misdemeanor, been convicted of a felony, pled nolo contendere, no contest or guilty, received deferred adjudication, been placed on community supervision or court-ordered probation, whether or not adjudicated guilty, been sentenced to serve jail or prison time or court-ordered confinement, been granted pretrial diversion, been arrested or have any pending criminal charges, been cited or charged with any violation of the law, or been subject to a, of a court-martialed um, Article 15 violation or received any form of military judgment, punishment, or action. You may only exclude Class C misdemeanor traffic violations. Um, questions that you also have to um, answer are, are you currently the target or subject of a grand jury or governmental agency investigation? Has any licensing authority ever refused to issue a license or ever revoked, annulled, canceled, accepted surrender of, suspended, placed on probation, refused to renew a professional license, certificate or multi-state privilege held by you or now or previously or ever fined, censured, reprimanded, or otherwise disciplined you? Within the past five years, have you been diagnosed with, treated, or hospitalized for schizophrenia and or psychotic disorder, bipolar disorder, paranoid personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder, or borderline personality disorder? If yes, you must indicate the condition. And also within the past five years, have you been addicted to or treated for the use of alcohol or any other drug? We do have the link there for you to see um, all of these questions directly on the Board of Nursing website. So did you answer yes to any of these eligibility questions? So you can begin the declaratory order process today. It can take several weeks to months, depending on your case, and you're encouraged to begin the declaratory order process prior to application for admission to the nursing program to avoid admission delays. Now that really depends on where you are at in the application process. So please get with the nursing department at nursing at com.edu and um, schedule an appointment to um, speak with either um, one of the administrative assistants or you can schedule an appointment with advising through um, scheduling through, through the advising page to talk about um, the process for a declaratory order and we will help you with that. Um, criminal backgrounds uh, checks are performed on all applicants for licensure in Texas. So when you apply for admission to the ADN pre-licensure track, to the transition track, to the vocational nursing track, your name and identifying information is sent to the Board of Nursing staff for permission to complete a criminal background check through the Department of Public Safety and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The outcome of the criminal background check determines your eligibility for licensure by examination. You will be notified of your eligibility status in writing by the Board of Nursing staff, and a copy of the notification must be submitted to the Department of Nursing staff before you can officially be admitted to the ADN program, uh, which includes pre-licensure or transition, and also includes the vocational nursing program. 
Also, current students must also submit a petition for declaratory order as soon as possible if the student answers yes to the eligibility questions at any time throughout the program. So even if you had nothing on your record, um, you answered no to all of the questions, but at some point in the program you have to answer yes to those questions, then you need to petition for a declaratory order. So please note that this is for uh, both programs and the trend and the um, and tracks. So associate degree, pre-licensure, associate degree transition track, and also the vocational nursing program as well. Now we are back on that main page for the um, ADN pre-licensure uh, program and track. And next we will go to paying for school. Even though nursing education is a great value, paying for college can be a challenge. Every nursing student should submit application for grants, scholarships, <clears throat> and financial aid, even if assistance is not needed at admission. If you're not prepared to pay for nursing school out of pocket, there are several other resources from which to choose. You can follow these links below for more information. Our Calm Foundation um, for scholarship opportunities. We do have nursing specific scholarships, so be sure to apply for those. And then other scholarship uh, opportunities at discoverednursing.com. Also, federal financial aid. A student must apply for federal financial aid to be eligible for any COM scholarships. So please um, ensure that you apply for federal financial aid. You may be surprised on any funding that you may that may be available that you may or may not have to pay back. Um, and then financial aid refunds, important information. Um, your financial aid refund is based on the following scale. So if you are taking 12 credit hours or more, it may be 100%, 9 to 11, 75%, 6 to 8 hours, 50%, and 1 to 5 hours, maybe approximately 25%. And if you're taking classes not required for your active degree, such as nursing specific, your financial aid will not include this, uh, those classes to determine um, your financial aid. However, in some cases, your financial aid payment can cover the cost of some of those classes. So you really need to find out it is um, individual and maybe on a case-by-case -case basis. If you have any questions, please contact the COM financial aid staff at 409-933-8274. There are also private loans. Um, so um, you can go to consumerfinance.gov to explore that. And also many hospital employers offer tuition reimbursement to their employees. Some nursing students work as nurse aides, technicians uh, to qualify. Also any veterans or current um, members of the military may contact the Veterans Affairs Office at College of the Mainland to determine what benefits you may be eligible for. Now again, we are back on that main page, and next we are going to talk about success tips. In nursing school, you want to make sure that you schedule time to study based on the difficulty of the content. Here's a table that you can use as a guide, so you can look at the course difficulty, whether it's high difficulty, medium difficulty, or low difficulty, and that can correlate to the number of study hours per week per hour in class. So if you're in class for three hours, per week for a class, then you need to also study three hours outside of class. There you'll find an example of, um, of how you can calculate the, the hours studying um, per week outside of class to the hours in class. Also, we have some study uh, for success tips to avoid procrastination. Uh, you don't want to just wait till the last minute to study or to do a project. You need to delay gratification, um, develop test taking and study skills, join a study group, go to tutoring, work only if necessary, get a mentor, and attend an NCLEX review course. Those things will really help. Finally, we're back on the uh, ADN pre-licensure tab again, and we are going to look at program costs. Estimated costs associated with the associate degree nursing program uh, track include tuition, college fees, and program fees. That is relevant to the um, transition track as well, as well as the vocational nursing program track. 
Tuition, college fees, and program fees are listed in the college catalog. Some fees may be variable according to clinical affiliation requirements and textbook cost. The estimated costs for students who live in this district are about $4,926 and $6,256 for students who reside out of district. Financial assistance is available through the Financial Aid Office, <clears throat> and additional out-of-pockets include but are not limited to textbook and supplemental resources, simulated electronic health record, background checks, drug screening, NCLEX application fee, jurisprudence fee, NCLEX setup fee, uniforms, lab coat, shoes, electronic tablet or laptop, stethoscope, nursing pinning, miscellaneous supplies, immunizations, <clears throat> CPR, and uh, some clinical agencies are requiring physical exam and health insurance. Um, so all of these uh, estimated costs are not only for the ADN pre-licensure track, it's all, these are also estimated costs for the ADN transition track and vocational nursing program as well. So um, especially for the immunizations, those are um, all the same for all of the programs and tracks as well. And we are going to take a further look at those when we look at the fact sheet for the ADN program. We are back on the ADN pre-licensure page um, again. And so on each page uh, for the specified track, whether it's transition or vocational nursing, you'll find application deadlines. So for the fall admission for the ADN program pre-licensure, the application must be submitted by 5 p.m. on June 3rd. And then for the spring semester for 2022, the application deadline must be submitted by 5 p.m. on October 1st. So um, application updates, um, health insurance is required for students to enter into the program um, and to apply to the program. And we also have clinical documentation verification forms on the student nursing resources page, um, which we will show you in a bit. And there is a link here to access those. So those forms will be required to upload once a student has access to the nursing student portal. All documentation must be PDF scan files from a flatbed scanner. We will not take photos of the immunizations or use scanner apps from mobile devices because it does distort the information and then we are not able to read it. Um, any applicant, um, that's offered admission or top alternates will receive an instructional letter with important follow-up deadlines approximately one month after the application deadline and that letter will be sent to COM emails only so make sure you're always checking your COM email. Um, also if you are admitted to the program it's strongly recommended that students do not work from eight to five uh, at least the first two weeks of class due to preclinical orientation. We don't know exactly when we'll be going to the hospital for orientation, so we have to keep that time open just in case. Next, for an overview, just to demonstrate the similarities for each um, page, each web page within the nursing department, we are going to click on the LVN to RN, tra LVN to RN transition track page. Here we have the LVN to RN transition track page. You can see that it's very similar to all of the things that we just went over for the ADN page. Um, summer admission deadline for the LVN to RN transition program is March 25th. So that um, make sure that you mark that date down if you're applying to the LVN to RN transition program. Um, again, same similar uh, same information that you can see on here. And also, if you'd like to see the plan of study for the LBN to RN transition program, it is in the current college catalog at the link shown um, on the screen. Next, we are going to go to the VN program page and see those similarities as well. Here is the vocational nursing program page. Um, you can see that um, we have the notice to students regarding licensing here, getting started, the, the BN program fact sheet, essential core performance requirements. Um, if we go to paying for school here, we can see those same recommendations that we did before. You can also see uh, program costs. Um, 
um, application deadline, spring admission, um, the application must be submitted by 5 p.m. on October 1st. Please always check here for any updates to application deadline or to the specified uh, program page that you're interested in uh, to make sure that the um, deadline hasn't been extended or any important updates about that. Here on our student resources page, you will find the Associate Degree Nursing Program Student Handbook. This applies for the ADN pre-licensure and uh, transition programs. Uh, the Vocational Nursing Program Student Handbook, uh, information about financial aid refunds, student nursing um, portal instructions. That's where you will upload your clinical documentation. Nursing student portal. Um, whenever you get access to that, you'll click on nursing student portal and then you'll log in there with your com username and password. Also, nursing student portal clinical documentation forms are where you'll find required forms um, to upload, for instance, for health insurance, physical exam, um, and then also cost obligation request form. Now we have circled back and we are on the associate degree um, nursing pre-licensure track page. We are going to go down to uh, getting started again and we are going to go to the ADN pre-licensure um, full-time track fact sheet. So we're going to look specifically at the fact sheet for the ADN pre-licensure program at this point. So here we have the um, full-time pre-licensure track sheet. First talks a little bit about the career, um, salary. We get this info from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, registered nurses provide patient care at doctor's offices, clinics, and hospitals. And as the U.S. population ages, registered nurses are in ever greater demand. About the program, the Com Associate Degree Nursing Program prepares students for rewarding careers through hands-on classes, labs, and clinical experiences at healthcare facilities. Professors teach small classes, are available for extra help, and dedicate themselves to students' success, and nursing tutors are available for individual and group sessions at no cost to the student. For our plan of study for the Associate Degree in Nursing Pre-Licensure Program, you can find it there on the link where it says Full Time, and that will take you to the uh, college catalog and show you the full, um, the full layout for the Associate Degree in Nursing Pre-Licensure Program. So when applying to the nursing program, the first step is to apply for the college if you are not already a student at College of the Mainland. If you are already a student at College of the Mainland, then you may not have to do this, but you may need to have some transcripts from any other schools sent in. So you still need to pay attention to this part. If you are new to College of the Mainland, you will need to, um, again, apply for the college. You will select General Studies Pre-Nursing as the major. If your COM application is over a year old and no COM courses have been taken, then students will need to submit a new COM application. So this is this may be for students who previously attended COM or new students to COM, just to make sure that um, your email and things like that are going to be current. You need to submit official transcripts to the COM Admissions Department via the National Student Clearinghouse for all colleges attended except COM. Allow at least two weeks for the evaluation to be completed and sometimes two to three months during peak time, so please get that in as soon as possible. All transferred courses must be in the student information system to be eligible for admission to the nursing program. Students who have previously been enrolled in nursing courses at a different nursing school must disclose it by contacting nursing at nursing at docs at com.edu for further directions um, each application period. Failure to disclose being previously enrolled in nursing courses, and this includes NURS courses with the rubric NURS, RNSG, or VNSG at another school may result in disciplinary action. So even if these courses were taken outside of an actual program, you still need to disclose them. So if you took an RNSG, uh, say 1215 health assessment course, just as an example, as a prereq to a nursing program, or just to take it prior to getting in a nursing program, you still need to disclose that. Disciplinary action includes a mandatory withdrawal from the applicant pool and or dismissal from the nursing program if past nursing transcripts are discovered while enrolled in the nursing program. Step two, 
apply to the ADN full-time track program. So you go to com.edu, scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and you'll see Web Advisor. Next, you'll click on Nursing Applications Directory. Here is where you'll start your new application. You may have more than one application open at a time if you are applying to multiple programs. But you must only select Transfer Application if you were previously in another nursing program at another school. So if you were in any NURS, RNSG, or VNSG courses, you may want to contact the nursing department to see um, any instructions that they will give you for um, applying as a transfer student if you have any of those NURS, RNSG, or BNSG courses. Follow the instructions throughout the applications and confirm and submit each section. Please see Nursing Application Process Guidelines and that has screenshots for step-by-step -step instructions. For the ADN Pre-Licensure Program, you must have the following. English 1301, Composition 1, Psych 2301, Introduction to Psychology, Biology 2401, Human Anatomy and Physiology 1, Biology 2402, Human Anatomy and Physiology 2, Biology 2420, which is Microbiology, you must be TSI college ready, and you must have a prerequisite grade point average of at least 2.80. Applicants with prerequisite courses um, complete and in our system by the application deadline will have first priority for application review and entry into the program. However, applicants who have prerequisite courses in progress past the application deadline may still apply. However, those final grades must be official in our system two weeks after COM's end of semester date. So please see the academic calendar for that date. Applicants with courses in progress will then be reviewed and placed on a waiting list pending available resources and contingent upon final course grades and admission is not guaranteed. Step three, submit HESI A2 transcript scores via email. You must score at least 75% or greater on the following sections, and this is specific to the uh, pre-licensure program and to the, uh, the ADN tran uh, transition track. So HESI A2 75% must be in math, reading, grammar, basic vocabulary, and AMP. This is not a combined 75% score. You must have 75% in each of these. The 75% must be achieved on each individual section, not the cumulative score. Students may have Elsevier send up to three results per application period, and the higher score will be accepted, and results are only valid for three years. HESI A2 exams can be taken at the COM Testing Center. Applicants will need to fill out the Testing Center's HESI A2 transcript request form and submit it directly to the COM Testing Center in order to give them permission to send the scores to nursing at docs at com.edu. HESI A2 exams can be taken at any other testing venue as well. Applicants must go to the link there for Elsevier and log in using your username and password. Click on HESI transcripts on the bottom right of the screen page, download the HESI transcript request form, and you may also access the HESI transcript request form on the link shown on the screen. You must follow the directions on the form to return the document to Elsevier. Please be aware that it takes seven to 10 business days for processing the transcript form. When filling out the form to send, when filling out the form to send a transcript to College of the Mainland, please use the following information. Here you have the school, deliver the transcript via email, attention nursing department, our address, and the email nursing at docs at com.edu. The pre-nursing orientation, well, you're listening to it now, so you may schedule for a nursing information system if there are some available or by listening to this and attesting that you listened and watched this presentation for the pre-nursing orientation, um, then you will have met this p &O requirement. So um, after you finish this p &O requirement, you may email the nursing um, advisor that will prompt the nursing advisor to go in and sign off on your P&O, pre-nursing orientation, within your new application. You will then be able to log back into your application and confirm you completed that step within your nursing application. Then step five is to request nursing portal access. So after your nursing application, and you've submitted, if you've initiated your nursing applica application and you've submitted proof of your HESI A2 transcript, 
you will send an email to nursing at docs at com dot edu and request access to the nursing portal. Once your request for access is received and the HESI A2 scores have been verified, it may take up to 48 hours to receive access to the portal. Before the application deadline date, you must have the following items in the nursing portal. <clears throat> Proof of one Hep B series, Hepatitis B series, that's three vaccinations in total. You must have three vaccinations at least in the system prior to the deadline date to be eligible. Then, a positive titer will be required if accepted to the program 30 days before the program starts. If you already have the titer, positive titer, well, great, you can go ahead and upload that. The titer must be quantitative only. You must tell whoever is putting the order in for your titer that it can only be quantitative. <clears throat> if the titer is negative or equivocal and the applicant has documentation of only one HEP B series, then that series must be restarted. Proof of all documentation will need to be uploaded. If the titer is negative or equivocal and that applica applicant does not have proof of the completed HEP B series dated prior to the negative equivocal titer, the applicant will be required to complete and submit proof of three vaccinations or three vaccines by the deadline date. You will also need proof of HEP C screen. Um, it, it can be positive or negative. We have to have a screen an annual seasonal flu vaccination, proof of two MMR vaccines, and or a positive titer. And this pos this titer must be the MMR IgG. If that titer is negative, you must submit proof of two vaccines dated after the negative titer. Proof of two varicella vaccines and or a positive titer. That titer is a VZVABIG. If the titer is negative, the applicant must submit proof of two vaccines dated after the negative titer. Proof of TDAP, TDAP vaccination within the past 10 years. Proof of tuberculosis screen must be PPD, chest x-ray, or quantiferin serological test. Proof of a basic life support course completed within the past year. The BLS course must be completed through the American Heart Association. College of the Mainland offers American Heart Association BLS courses. You can contact the CE Allied Health Program for class information or find the BLS page on the COM website. A completed nursing physical assessment form with immunization documentation and valid Texas driver's license uh, submitted both sides uh, with submitted both sides of the Texas driver's license. Also health insurance is required. You can submit health insurance form and proof of health insurance card um, both sides. You must submit proof of shot records and lab results. So immunization verif verification forms are no longer acceptable. Required nursing student portal clinical documentation forms can be found on the nursing student resources link, as you see on the screen, for the FERPA form, health insurance form, and nursing physical assessment form. These forms will be required to be uploaded along with a copy of the shot record once the student has access to the nursing student portal. All documentation must be PDF scan files from a flatbed scanner. Do not take a photo of the immunization to upload it and or convert it to a PDF file. Scanner apps for mobile devices are not acceptable. You will be required to submit additional clinical readiness documentation if you are accepted into the nursing program or if you are selected as an alternate. Admission application open date currently is to be announced very soon. Uh, spring admission deadline, October 1st, and fall admission deadline, June 1st. Always check back here to see if there have been any extensions given for um, the uh, track that you are interested in. Applicants are ranked for selection based on the following, weighted GPA for prerequisite courses, HESI A2 calculation, and education points are um, given if you have a doctorate, master's degree in science or arts, bachelor's of science in bachelor's degree in science or arts, associate's degree in science or arts, and health-related certificates. Approved health-related certificates are certified nursing assistant, emergency medical technician, medical assistant, paramedic, and licensed vocational nursing cert certification. Certificates must be current and approved by a state agency to be considered for points. A degree must be health-related. Points will only be awarded for the highest certificate submitted. 
Please send eligible certificates to nursing at docs.com.edu after you have entered them into the application. You will not be given points for degrees if they are not on file in the admissions department. You will not be given points for eligible certificates if they are not on file with the nursing department. And please note, it is strongly recommended that students not work from 8 to 5 the first two weeks of class due to preclinical orientation. Please also note that Board of Nursing Clearance does not guarantee cl clearance for clinical rotations at our hospital affiliations. Hospital affiliations may deny clinical rotations based upon an unclear background check. Com Nursing will attempt to find students with an unclear background check alternate rotations if possible, but an unclear background may delay progression in the program or ultimately completing the nursing program if we are unable to place the student. Again, we have our notice to students regarding licensing. Now we are back on our ADN pre-licensure track page. I do want to go to the LVN transition track um, and we will go to the um, fact sheet and just look at a few uh, minor differences, but be sure that you fully read whichever program and track that you're interested in in detail to make sure that you are aware of all of the um, re requirements to be eligible. Here we are on the LVN to RN transition track fact sheet. You will see that it's very similar to the pre-licensure fact sheet. For the LVN to RN transition program, you must have um, completed English 1301, Composition 1, Psych 2301, Introduction to Psychology, Psych 2314, Lifespan Development, Biology 2401, Human Anatomy and Physiology 1, Biology 2402, Human Anatomy and Physiology 2, Biology 2420, Microbiology. You must be TSI College ready. A prerequisite grade point average of at least 2.80 and a current and unencumbered LVN license and you'll be required to provide that number. And then as we go down, you'll look on this fact sheet um, several of the items are the same regarding immunization requirements, but here you will see the application open date and deadline date for the LVN to RN transition program. We are back on the ADN um, program LVN transition track, and now we are going to go down to the VN program, and we are going to look at the VN program fact sheet because there are some differences with the HESI A2 that I want to go over and also with prerequisite courses. Here we are on the Vocational Nursing Program fact sheet about the career. You see um, the salary from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Licensed vocational nurses provide compassionate care to patients in long-term care facilities and visitors to doctor's offices. As the U.S. population ages, demand for vocational nurses continues to increase. The plan of study can be found at the link vocational nursing program in the college catalog or on the, the hyperlink um, on your screen. You will follow the same process for the VN program. You'll also need to include any NURS, RNSG, or VNS courses that you've ever been in um, and let the nursing department know about that. And be sure that you send that to the appropriate email at nursingappdocs.com.edu. You must send it to that email for any programs, any track. Um, you can't just send in your transcript and then um, not notify that email because that will not suffice. You can't just let an advisor know and let, and, um, and because that won't suffice either. You will need to um, notify in writing to nursing at docs.com.edu. You'll apply to the vocational nursing program track, just as we talked about before, only you'll accept, uh, only you will um, select the vocational nursing track option. The prerequisites for the VN program are Biology 2401, Human Anatomy and Physiology 1. You must be TSI college ready and you must earn a pre you must have a prerequisite grade point average of at least 2.00. Again, applicants with all prereq courses complete in our system by the application deadline will have first priority for application review and entry in the program. Applicants who have prerequisite courses in progress past application deadline may apply. However, final grades must be official in our system two weeks after comms end of semester date. Please see the academic calendar. Applicants with courses in, progr in progress will then be reviewed and placed on a waiting list pending available resources and contingent upon final course grades and admission is not guaranteed. 
please note that in the plan of study, uh, vocational nurses, students in the vocational nursing program also have to have biology 2402, anatomy and physiology 2. You can take this prior to getting into the VN program, and then you will not have to take it once you're in the VN program. So students who want to have less courses that first semester with, when they're in the VN program may take biology 2401 and 2402 prior to getting in the program. But the minimum eligibility to apply is that you have biology 2401, human anatomy, and physiology 1. And here's where we'll see the difference between the um, the HESI A2 but for the uh, for the VN uh, application. So you must score at least 70% or greater on each of the following sections of the HESI A2. And for vocational nursing, it's math, reading, grammar, and basic vocabulary. You do not have to score a 75% or sorry, a 70% or greater on the AMP section. So again, you must score at least 70% or greater on the HESI A2 sections, math, reading, grammar, basic vocabulary. You do not have to score the 70% on the AMP section. But it has to be on each of those sections that you score the 70%. It is not a cumulative score. Students may um, have Elsevier send up to three results per application period, and the higher score will be accepted. Results are only valid for three years. And students who apply for both the ADN and BN programs should take the SAA2 sections required for the ADN program. So if you're going to apply for both the, the ADN program and the BN program, then you do need to take that AMP section just so that you'll be eligible for both programs. The information is um, the same for um, how to get your HESI transcript scores to COM via email, pre-nursing orientation, requesting the, uh, the nursing portal. Um, vaccine requirements are the same, so clinical documentation requirements are the same. And here you will see for the, um, for the application dates, the, um, the open date, and the application deadline date. Always check here to see if those dates have been updated. That is the end of our pre-nursing orientation. I hope that you learned everything that uh, you had questions about regarding our application process. If not, please feel free to reach out to the Calm Nursing Department or view on our, uh, we have some um, frequently asked questions on our webpage that you may look at as well. Or you can ask questions at nursing at calm.edu or call 409-933-8425. Thank you and have a wonderful day.